junk fast foods that have no actual food in them. We buy gallons of poisonous household cleaners when one degradable soft soap will do. We are poisoning our homes and wasting our hard-earned money for no good reason. Why? Because the advertising industry tells us to. They just want you to buy stuff. For example, if a company pollutes the environment or uses bad business practices, if you don't buy their stuff, they will change. If you don't want food with chemicals or GMOs in it, then don't buy it. The minute we start taking responsibility and spending our money wisely, every politician, every corporation and leader around the world is going to know that we have woken up. And that is the most important point in this film. God will show you your vision, but never tell you how you're going to get there. And there's a reason why. Because your vision is a glimpse of your end. Between the end and where you are is called the plan. The plan is the process that takes you to your destination. God will tell you your end, like he showed Joseph. He showed Joseph the, the throne. Mm. He's sitting on the throne, ruling, feeding his brothers. That's the end. God showed you your end. He showed each one of you your end. Everybody got a dream. But he never tells you the plan. Why? Because if he ever told you the plan, you would tell him, forget the destination. Because the plan is to prepare you for the destination. Right. So he takes you through all these different changes to develop you. If Joseph knew that he had to go through a pit and prison to get to that throne, he'd tell God, forget the throne. That's right. So your plan is secret to God. Right now, where you are may not be where you want to be, but it's a part of the plan. Don't panic. It's all part of the process. God's working on character development, patience development, mm -hmm. vision development. He's preparing you for what he has prepared for you. You know, I block a whole lot of people. I mean a whole lot of people and it's like my most favorite thing to do especially in this realm where people are buying followers and likes and trolling the internet I feel confident to say that I've never asked anybody to follow me I've never bought a like or a comment and I don't let people play with me I don't troll the internet I don't involve myself in things that don't directly involve me I don't have an opinion unless asked I don't have any negative things to say unless you come over here fucking around and above all things, I will block you. And I love that for me. Smile on your brother, everybody get together. Try to love one another right now. I have to protect my soul at all times because I know people are out there that have evil in their heart and are very demonic in their approach and will do everything possible to get close to me because I am light. I am close to God. God is within me. God's inside me. God's inside you. God's inside all of us. So. I'm walking with faith. I'm not gonna stand down on anything that I believe in. I'm only gonna get stronger because I'm not alone. I have a whole army around me. The system would like to keep you distracted physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. But we're not letting the system teach our kids what they tried to teach us and tell us that this is, this is the way that the world goes. No, it does not. That's not the way we want it to go. And we have the energy to shift this whole entire thing. So until we do that, we're just gonna keep fighting. And we just went triple platinum, check the digits. You see what God does, he don't yeah. My God whispers. Mm. And when he whispers to me, if I have too much noise in my life, I can't hear. And so I don't have noises of life in my life. I don't have ignorance and adolescence and childishness and foolishness in my life. If you start bringing that mess to my life, you're going to be evicted out of my life. Yeah. Why would I listen to my critics when my critics have critics? <laughs> I'm going to listen to a critic who has a line of critics. Ain't, ain't, ain't no way. Because... Some of those people are criticizing you to just get your attention. The last thing I heard about attention that you had to pay it. You got to pay attention. So that's a fee. That's going to cost. So if you're not going to pay that cost for my attention, I'm not going to give it to you because my attention ain't free.